assalamu alaikum dear colleagues uh, today we are going to discuss a very important tool of online education that is socrative so socrative is basically uh, an online assessment tool uh, there are two forms of it one is socrative teacher and one of socrative student socrative teacher is for the teachers in which they make their MC mcq tests or short answer tests and socrative student is for students uh, in which they can join a room they can uh, uh, attempt their uh, tests which is uh, floated by their teach, uh, teachers so uh, in order to uh, get to the, first we will discuss socrative teacher in order to get to socrative teacher first we will write socrative teacher in the browser it will uh, take you to Socrative teacher login. You will click on the teacher login. And this screen will appear. <clears throat> if you have got a uh, Socrative teacher login before, you just have to sign in. But if you don't have a teacher login, uh, you you'll have to create an account. So let me create an account for you. So I will just put in my name. I will put in one of my email addresses. So I have put in my, in my email address in these two categories. And now I will put in my password. You can choose any password of your choosing. But remember, it should be easy. To remember for you <clears throat> so the next screen will be like this you will choose Pakistan organization type you, you will choose university from you and your role is as a teacher and agree to the terms and conditions and then press next so here you will come across two uh, account types. One is Socrative Free, one is Socrative Pro. Socrative Free in which you don't have to pay for anything. All the standard features are available except that only uh, a few number of students can be catered uh, through Socrative Free account, up to 50. While Socrative Pro, you are given multiple rooms, you can make your own rosters, and you can take uh, exam of a large number of students, uh, up in thousands. So for the moment, we are choosing Socrative free type of account. And when I will finish, I will go right to this screen. So this is the screen for our Socrative, Pro, uh, Socrative teacher. Uh, here you can see that uh, there is a launch uh, 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 option. And there's an option for quizzes, there are option for rooms. In Socrative uh, free account, you have only got one room and you cannot make any more rooms. While in Socrative Pro account, you can make rooms up to 20. Here there's an option for the reports in which you can see your old test reports and results. When a test is live, results uh, will open and you can uh, see uh, live uh, how your students are doing, how much students are in your room, and when they will, when they have submitted their uh, tests. So all this information is visible from uh, these results option. So first of all, let us let us go to quizzes. And here we have got a sample quiz before. It will look something like this. In sample quiz, uh, Socrative Pro has already uh, put MCQs, true-false questions, and uh, uh, short answer type questions. So I'll just uh, show you how these MCQs look on a preform test. So for example, this is an MCQ. What is the world's longest river? And here you can see that uh, there are options for the river, and we have clicked on the right answer. So Socrative, Pro, uh, Socrative knows what is the right answer. Similarly, here there is a true-false uh, question. The diameter of Earth is 8,000 miles and we have selected true as the correct answer. 
So <coughs> here there is another MCQ. This is an outline of which country. You can upload pictures on Socrative as well. So uh, the outline of the country is uploaded. The next is also a true false type of questions. Iceland is the world's biggest island. And the answer is false. The world's largest ocean is, and here there's a short answer type of question. Uh, and the answer is giving as, given as Pacific. So, so you can add uh, other MCQs as well. For example, you can add multiple choice, true false type of questions and short answers. So let's begin by making a new quiz. For making a new quiz, you will click on add quiz. You will see two options, create new and import. In create new, you will be taken to a page where you will make new MCQs. And in, in import, you, can, you, uh, you will be uh, given a very small window in which you have to uh, write down an SOC code. I will tell you about the SOC code. If you have got SOC, SOC code of an MCQ test or a short answer type of uh, test, you can import that uh, test into your own account. And this SOC number will be provided by one of your colleagues uh, who wants to share uh, their test with you. And when you click on the create new, you will be taken to a new page in, on which you can make uh, new uh, questions. So let us, uh, uh, this is our test. The first step is to name your test. So I will name it as demo one. And this here, you can see that I have enabled sharing and below is given the SOC code for this test. And if I give, uh, give this SOC code to any of my colleagues, they can import the quiz that I'm making into their own account. So uh, let's, let us begin by making a multiple choice question. <coughs> here, you will add a, a question stem. For example, what is normal HB for males? And below, you have to give the options. Write down uh, the options. And if you want to add another option, you can simply click on add answer and you will have got, uh, you'll have another option. So I would like to add another option. So uh, now you have to uh, tell the computer that what is the correct answer. So I will just click here and correct answer will be marked. Now this uh, uh, Socrative knows that what is the correct answer and it, it will be treated as such. So I'll just go on to next one. When I will click on multiple choice, this previous uh, multiple choice question will be saved. Or you, if you don't want to add another, another question, then you have to save this one by clicking this, uh, this button. So now this is saved. But if you don't want, if you have to save another, go directly to uh, these options, click on them, and the previous question will be saved automatically. Now let us add another thing. What is the name of Prime Minister of Pakistan? So I'll add current Prime Minister of Pakistan. So my question will be clear.
So I will correct on the click correct answer. So the correct answer. Now if I'm going to save this one, I'll just click on this button. But if I have to make another uh, question, I'll directly go to these options. So let's click on a true false type of question. So here you can see that uh, you can ask for a true false. <laughs> so I have asked a question 23rd March is not a significant date for Pakistani nation so of course it is a false so I will click on the false option so so creative know that this is the false answer uh, and let us go to the next let's add a short answer type of short answer you can see and say write a note on blue Genesis and student have to write their answers uh, in this and uh, uh, you can also add a sort of uh, a picture in your MCQs for example let's add an other you add picture let me go to where I have the pictures. For example, I add this picture. Give your diagnosis on this chest X one. So um, this picture will be visible to the students and they will give their answer based on their findings so this is how uh, you you can add pictures to your socrative uh, uh, test so i'll just save this answer and now let's go back to this uh, portion of the screen now uh, in order to save this test i will press on save and exit and my test is saved So when I'm going to launch this test, what I will do, I will go to the launch, I will press on quiz, and I will then press on demo one. Now, uh, you may have uh, hundreds of tests in your Socrative account. So if you want to search for a quiz, you can write uh, over here and your test uh, will be searched by Socrative itself. Uh, so you don't have to scroll all the way down to the bottom. So I, I have selected this uh, uh, test to be uh, launched. And when I will press next, I will be taken to this screen. Now there are three options. You have got instant feedback, you have got open navigation, and you have got teacher paste. The meaning of teacher paste is that a teacher will be sitting on the computer uh, in front of the computer screen and uh, the teacher will uh, manually uh, select the next question that how uh, after how much time the next question will appear but uh, it is cumbersome for the teachers because teacher have to be screen bound for the period of the test open navigation means that student will be able to uh, scroll through all uh, uh, the questions and they will be they can answer any question at any time they can edit their questions and uh, after uh, the time of the test is over the teacher will finish activity so the whole uh, test will be open for the students and students will be able to explore all the uh, uh, questions they will be able to answer any question and uh, they will be able to edit their answers at any time. 
instant feedback means that w when a question is uh, 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 attempted by the student, the answer will be locked. And once answer for one question is submitted, the next question will appear. Uh, but the, uh, there is one drawback that after each question, uh, the answer will be shown to the student and they will be uh, t told that uh, whether this question is uh, uh, right or wrong if you uh, select final score. So I'll, re I'll recommend that for our university, we can use open navigation. Here, click this option always required name so it will uh, your uh, student won't give an anonymous test name will be necessary and uh, but if you want to take for example an anonymous feedback then names won't be necessary but uh, for, for tests name should be necessary and by shuffling questions you will uh, shuffle the uh, arrangement of the questions and by shuffling answers the answers the Arrangement of the answers will be different for each student. And if you click on the final score, uh, when the student will submit the, their tests, final score will appear before them. So yes, uh, I want that my students should know what is their final score. I will press on this one. And now I will just... So this is how... Uh, uh, our screen looks when uh, an MCQ is uh, a, a test is launched. Okay, so let's go to another browser and attempt this uh, uh, test through another screen. When the student will be attempting their test, they will write Socrative student in this browser. They will be taken to a screen. Right. Click on Socrative student login and they will be asked what is the room name. So their teacher will provide what is their room name. So my room name is Ahmed A224. I will provide this name to my students. Okay, so let's join. Now uh, the students will be asked to write down their names. I will write Zahi Ahmed. And please ask your student to write their roll number as well so you identify them by their roll numbers. I will write 228 is my roll number. So now the student will be uh, seeing uh, the question that you have formed. So I will click on the on right answer then I will go to the next question okay what is the name of current Prime Minister of Pakistan I will attempt this one and this is the picture pictorial uh, uh, question that I have made so I will click on this so uh, the picture will be zoomed and so this is how the picture look uh, will uh, look to the student so based on the findings, I will write ARDS and then I will go to the next question. Student can uh, skip a question as well. For example, if I, uh, I want to skip question number four, I want to go directly to question number five, write gluconeogenesis. So I will write it is process of conversion of substrates to glucose in body. So this is the answer. Now I want to go to my skipped question. You see this skipped question is not color marked. So I'll go to this one and I'll say that it is false. So I have attempted all the five uh, MCQs. Here you can see that total number of MCQs will be visible to the students. So yes, I have attempted all five. Uh, now my test is complete. I will finish quiz. Yes, I want to submit this. So mm, there were three MCQs. Uh, these are marked. 
and there are two non gradable questions that will be marked by the teacher and the result will be shown to the student later so three mcqs result is shown but there are two short answer type of question which will be checked by the teacher so i will turn okay so let's go to the teacher screen teacher will be seeing this uh, uh, screen zaheer ahmed 228 has joined the test uh, three mcqs are attempted which are all correct this green color uh, uh, depicts that it is correct and there are two short answer type of questions which are not marked so uh, now uh, this uh, uh, check mark indicates that student has submitted their test so 100% uh, of the students have submitted their test so i will just finish my activity after a certain period of time so this this is the final form of the uh, screen when the test finishes now i want to download the report here are the reports i will click on this and i will just download so my report has downloaded i will just open it and it will open into an excel sheet so this is how uh, the final uh, form of the test result will uh, will be visible to you roll number 228 total score is 100 number of correct answers are 3 okay this is the answer of the first question this is the answer of the second question this is the answer of the third question and this green color shows that all the answers are correct so if it is not correct the uh, uh, color will be red and this is the answer of uh, the short uh, uh, answer type question and this is also a short answer type question so these two are not marked that these two questions uh, will be checked by the teacher and it will be graded and it will be later added to the total number of so if you just choose mcqs your whole are uh, 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 true false type of questions your whole paper will be checked automatically but if short answers are there then you have you will have to check uh, these uh, uh, tests uh, manually also so this is how uh, the final result will look to you now these reports can be downloaded in many forms you can uh, download individual student pdfs for, so let's see how this individual student pdf uh, um, will be visible to you sorry about that so this is individual student area let's open this So this is uh, the answer sheet of uh, Zaheer Ahmed roll number 228. The first question is this one. The second is this one. The third one is this. And these are the two short answer type of questions. So if you download individual student sheets, it will be easier for you uh, to check short answer type of questions. So this is another feature of this app. let's move on to other options rooms in rooms uh, in a free uh, socrative account you will have only one room and you can not change the name of this room because this is your default room uh, in socrative pro you can make new rooms and you can name these rooms uh, as per your uh, ease and one other feature that i want to introduce here is the roster in a free account you cannot make a roster but if uh, you have got a socrative pro account you can uh, make a roster for each room 
what what is the meaning of a roster that you can assign student ids to each student so a certain number of student can join uh, one room and no outsider can join the room no one can join the room with a fictitious id or no one can join the room twice so this is how the roster works and uh, uh, roster is recommended if you are taking tests of a class so uh, uh, a few more features you if you want to delete uh, a test you can uh, uh, delete the test from here you can move these tests to one of the uh, one of the folders that you have made uh, if you have made a, a folder if you want to cluster uh, a certain uh, number of tests uh, for example if you want to cluster the all the tests belonging to hematology or uh, carbohydrates you can uh, make folders accordingly and you can move these tests to those folders but this feature is available only for Socrative Pro accounts. Then there is an interesting uh, feature over here, Space Race. In Space Race, you can make groups of your class and uh, those groups can compete uh, uh, for those te uh, test results in, in a Space Race. So this was all about uh, uh, so creative uh, now a few words of caution uh, when uh, when you launch a test uh, your students will be seeing those uh, uh, questions and they can take pictures and they can take screenshots of your uh, questions and these questions will be thrown out of your uh, question pool the second thing is that uh, Sometimes your activity uh, is running and you uh, uh, suddenly close your browser due to some reason. In that case, students will be uh, able to uh, see that activity. Uh, so you have to log out of your account each time. So uh, in case uh, one of your activity uh, uh, is running, student will not be able to see that activity and your questions will not be leaked so this is all about soft creative uh, if you have any questions you can contact thank you